Hello everyone. Today I have for you a review of Dynamals. This game kickstarted last year. It's a it's a quick little game of uh, set collection. Well, sort of set collection with uh, with animals, di dinosaurs, and dynamals. And you get to play slam cards to one up your opponents and to manipulate different things uh, with the cards. And we're gonna go ahead and show you a quick uh, setup and gameplay of it, and then we'll get to the review afterwards. And here we have Dynamals. So we're going to go through the cards a little bit and then show you some basic gameplay. Of course, we've got the rules insert, as always. You can see right there, it's got uh, all the different rules, got a list uh, of the, the cards, and it's got all the different abilities and stuff that the, the cards can do right there. I'm going to set that, uh, set that off over here for my reference if I need it, which I probably don't because I'm pretty sure I got the rules down pretty good. I got the game box, which is a uh, this nice little cartoony pictures of everything. So the purpose of the Dynamals is you're trying to mash together an animal and a dinosaur and make a dynamo. And you do this by drawing cards uh, and playing different cards, playing slam cards. We're going to go through everything as we're at right now. So I've got the stack of uh, the rest of the cards right here. It's 110 of them. I'm going to go ahead and give these to Gothi to start shuffling up while I'm explaining the other cards. Even though I got some out here, she'll have to add them to them as she goes along. Um, so we have the different dinosaurs. There's six different kinds of dinosaurs right here. You've got Triceratops. We've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, we've got a Stegosaurus, a Velociraptor, an Ankylosaurus, and an Apatosaurus. Ta-da! Those are the six different ones that you have in the game, as well as six different animals. You've got a, a hare, a little bunny rabbit right there. You've got a hare, got a penguin, little red panda, giraffe, and a unicorn, and one more tiger, tiger. So you have these cards, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a certain dynamo. So you have to find the exact dinosaur and animal card and play it with the dynamo card, as well as with one of these smush cards, because you're smushing their DNA together to make the dynamo. So, and when you do, you'll have a dynamo like this, this Triheratops, which is a combination of the Triceratops and the hair. So, I'll try to get out of the light right there, it's a little blinding, there you go, the hair. So on your turn, if in your hand you have the Triceratops and the hair, you can play it with the Smush card. Make sure it's getting in the view right there. You play the Triceratops the hair with the smush card and the triheratops card right there like that and you win because you were able to make a dynamo first with the appropriate dinosaur animal smush card and the dynamo card so there's uh the different ones there's a uh, triheratops we'll go through these real quickly put the, all these cards back you've got the triheratops there you have the Red Panclosaurus, which is a combination of the Ankylosaurus and the Red Panda. You have the Raptorcorn, which is a combination of the uh, Velociraptor and the Unicorn. You have the Apatosaurus, which is the combination of the Apatosaurus and the Giraffe. You have the Penguinosaurus Rex, which obviously is a combination of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Penguin. And you have the Stegosaurus, which is a combination of the tiger and the Stegosaurus. So you're trying to make one of those dynamals. So we've got this. We'll put, give these all. We'll give these a quick shuffle like this, and then we'll give them to Gothia so that she can shuffle them into the rest of the deck. Okay. Now, while you're playing, you have certain slam cards which uh, you can play as many slam cards as you want on your turn. So you have the steel card, which lets you uh, take a card from any player's hand. 
Of course, you take it without looking. They'll you know, fan out their cards. And you also want to make sure that none of the other players see which card that you're taking. You have the Switch card, which plays like a reverse card in Uno, where you'll reverse the, the player order. Because uh, during the game, you're going to be going in clockwise order at the beginning of the game. But when somebody plays a Switch card, it reverses the order. You'll be going in counterclockwise. And then if somebody plays another Switch card, you'll be going back clockwise, vice versa, everything. You have a, a Skip card which allows you to skip the next player that it would be in playing order. And if you play multiple skips, you'll skip multiple people. The first skip will skip, let's say you're going in clockwise order. The first skip will skip the player to your left. The next skip you play that turn will skip the player to their left. You know, so if you have multiple skips in your hand, you can skip it around and maybe even get back to you. You have a snag card, which allows you to draw two extra cards from the deck, because at the beginning of your turn, you draw one card. So what if you play a snag card, you get to grab two more cards. Got a shuffle card, which allows you to shuffle the deck and the discards together to make a new deck, which is really good for saving some dynamals or, or animal cards or uh, uh, dinosaur, dinosaur cards that are in the discards that have possibly been discarded by other players that they didn't want or they're trying to, to mess you over so you can't make your uh, your dynamo that you're trying to get. You know, you, you get to save the cards, shuffle them back in, make the deck hopefully be able to draw them. You have a swap card, which allows you to swap a card with another player. So, you know, you get to choose the card that you're swapping with the other player. The other player gets to choose the card they're swapping with you, but the other players don't know which card you're choosing. You just swap it face down. You want to make sure no other players see the card that you're swapping. We have the stop card. The stop card undoes dibs, and I'll go over what that means in a minute because it takes a little bit of an explanation. So I'm going to put that one off to the, to the side. And then you have two different colored swap cards. One's red and one is blue. The red, uh, I'm sorry, swipe cards. The red swipe card lets you ask everyone for an animal. So whenever you play this swipe card, you'll call out like red panda. And anybody that has a red panda in their hand has to give you that red panda. And likewise, with the blue swipe card, lets you ask everybody for a dinosaur. So if you play this and you call out Stegosaurus, everybody that has a Stegosaurus in their hand would have to give you those Stegosauruses. S -s 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 -s. Not sure how many S's are at the end of there. Stegos Steg uh, you have a uh, sore eye? <laughs> uh, Stegosaur eye. Ow. All right. So those are the, the different kind of slam cards you can play. And like I said before, you can play as many slam cards that are in your hand uh, during the turn as you want. You don't have to play any. Or, you know, or you can play all of them and then be left with nothing in your hand but dinosaurs. I know those are going to need to get shuffled in there, too. Yep. Okay, so the stop card, which undoes any dibs. On your turn, if you have a dynamo in your hand that you are pretty sure that you're going to be able to make or that you just want to save and stop anybody else from playing it, you can put that dynamo down in front of you on the table. Let's say you had the Stigersaurus. You put the... You put the Stegosaurus on your turn down in front of you at the table, and you call dibs. Now, nobody else at the table playing is going to be able to make a Stegosaurus, since you have called dibs and you have that card down in front of you. Unless they play the stop card, which undoes any dibs. They can play this and say that they're undoing your dibs of the uh, Stegosaurus, which then would make that Stegosaurus go into the discard pile. Now, you can also play the stop card on yourself to undo any dibs that you've done. Let's say you're not getting that uh, tiger. You can't find a tiger anywhere for your Stegosaurus, and you want to undo it. You can play stop on yourself to undo those dibs, and the card would uh, come back to your hand, and then you can discard it later. So that's a, that's a stop card and uh, covering dibs. Go ahead and throw that in there. Now, other than that, because that's a basic gameplay, you have two different cards that will kind of mess you up. They are Smash and Stuck. So the Smash card, basically, if you draw this at the beginning of your turn, if anybody draws this at the beginning of their turn, the Smash card basically starts your hand over. Everybody at the beginning of the game starts with five cards in their hand. So if you draw this at the beginning of your turn, you have to start over. So basically, you discard your hand to the discard pile, and I'm pretty sure you, you shuffle everything back up. Let me go double check the rules real quick with the Smash. 
Yeah, you take your entire hand, the discard pile, and any unused cards, and you uh, shuffle them together. So you take the deck, the discards, your hand, everything, shuffle them together, put it back on the table, draw a new hand of five cards, and your turn ends immediately and goes to the next player. So that's the smash cards. The stunt card, if you draw this at the beginning of your turn, this ends your turn immediately. You don't get to do anything. You don't even get to draw another card to replace it. It just ends your turn, it goes into the discard pile, the next player plays. So there's there's three stuck and three smash cards in the deck. And before you play, you want to make sure you take them out. You shuffle up the rest of the deck, which Gothi has done. And you pass out five cards to each player. So go ahead. Uh, Gothi's going to gonna be the dealer for this one. I know it's usually me. What? Yeah. All right, so I've got five cards. Gotham's got five cards. We've got our deck right here and a space for our discards. So after you have your cards, the, then the stuck cards and the smash cards get shuffled back into the deck. And I guess since, uh, since Gotham did a lot of shuffling, I'll, I'll do these. I'm just going to space them out. Throw I'm not dexterous deck enough like to this. shuffle that big of a deck. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's okay. We're going to shuffle these real quick while Gothy looks over her hand. But I guess for this game, we'll let, uh, we'll let her go first. I know I usually go first, but uh, every every now and then it's good to get the uh, the younger player go first when you're playing a younger themed kind of games. So uh, so she's younger by a, a year, a day, and a month. <laughs> we'll let we'll let her go first. Do a quick shuffle. All right, and so at the beginning of her turn, she'll get to draw. And then she can play as many Smash cards or anything as she, uh, Smash cards as she wants. She can play Dynamo for dibs if she wants to call that one to uh, stop me from doing play anything. Snag. No, she's going to play Snag immediately to draw two cards from the deck. And then I say go. Okay, I'm just saying go. Mm, let's see. So I'll draw my card for my turn. Let's see what I have here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play a swipe card. It's a red one, so it lets me ask everyone for an animal. I am going to ask for giraffes. Does anybody have any giraffes? Yeah. Gothy has a giraffe, so she has to give it to me. All right. And then let me see. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play a a swap card. I try to swap a swap a card with Gothy. So I'm going to swap this one. She'll get to choose one from her hand to swap with me. All right. Okay. Really? That's the one you gave me. Really? That's the one you gave me. Uh, okay. <laughs> so she gave me a seal, which I'm going to play right away, and I'm going to take a card from any player. So I'll get to. Look at the back of her cards. Let's see. She's got, who six cards in her hand. Let's go ahead and take this one all the way over here. Hey, <laughs> that's the one I just gave you. Wait a minute. Is that, yeah. <laughs> and I will end my turn. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and discard. It was a tiger. Discard it because I'm not going to need it. And I'll pass the play over to Gothi. Let's see if we can play this game real quickly. Let's see oh, if I need man. it. I got stuff, but I don't have stuff. You got stuff, but you don't have stuff. I guess I'll say go. Oh, all right. Go ahead and draw my card. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put down this uh, Apatosaurus, the combination of Apatosaurus and Giraffe, and I'm going to call Dibs. I'm going to keep that one out in front of me. That's my Dibs card right there. So nobody else can, can make that uh, card. And then I'm going to pass turn and say go.
You can always discard. If you don't like cards in your hand, you want to get them well, down. It's like I have stuff to make things, but I'm not sure what I'm going to draw. So it's like I don't want to lose a card. That you I might discard need. extra cards you want if you don't have anything. There's no maximum hand size, so uh, you I'll don't have to stock. worry about that. So she's going to stop. She's going to undo any dibs. Okay, so I have to discard my dibs card that I have. But then I see it. And then she says go. I'm gonna go ahead. I, I don't need this one. I'm gonna go ahead and discard that. The red panda. I'll say go. Steal. Steal. You wanna take a card from my hand? A red. There you go. Oh, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> one that you gave. I gave you. Mm -hmm. Um, go. Okay, let's go ahead and draw here. Mm. We're going to go ahead and swipe. Ask everyone for a dinosaur. I would like uh, my Patasaurus back, please. Thank you. <laughs> We're just going to go back. Up and I'm going to say <laughs> go. Go, 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 go. Stag. Uh, draw two cards from the deck. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. I'm going to discard. Oh, okay. Go. Discard unicorn. Let's go ahead and draw. All right. I'm going to say go. <laughs> Swipe. Uh, I you're for an animal. All right. Do you have a an apatosaurus? That is not an animal. That is a dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> it's the red <laughs> swipe. You have to ask uh, people for an animal. I don't remember what goes with this one. Goes with what? Stegosaurus. The stegosaurus is a tiger. You make the stegosaurus. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, I guess. Giraffe. Giraffe. Here you go. I have a giraffe. <laughs> go. Yeah. All right. Good draft. Okay. I will say go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, all right. what animal do you want? A unicorn? Uh, I have no unicorn. Go fish. <laughs> oh, no, no, go dynamo. There's no go fish. Are you done? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to say go. <laughs> it's all shuffled to the bottom. Yeah, everything, all, all the stuff we need to shuffle to the bottom. <laughs> Discard giraffe. Discard giraffe. Oh, man. Did it so you couldn't make it. I know. It. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, so I couldn't get it. Yeah. Okay, I'll say go. My hand's getting pretty big here. Look for one card. Um, I'm gonna discard. Okay, another <laughs> giraffe. <laughs> Ooh, all right. You done? Yeah. Okay. Will they ever make one? Nope. Stay tuned to find it. <laughs> go. I'm going to discard a penguin. Discard a penguin. You done? Yeah. Okay. And draw. <laughs> I'm going to discard a triceratops. And I'm going to say go. Discard panda. Panda, you done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got a bunch of funny stuff. I will say go. I'm just gonna keep this hand full of all these. I'm gonna bogart all these uh, all these cards just so you can't get them. You try to swipe them from me. Swiper, no swiping. No swap. Swap. Okay. Let's see. What am I gonna get? Mm 
I'm going to say go. Yeah. Go. Go. Oh. I'll say go. Oh my gosh, I got rid of it. <laughs> uh, you got rid of it. Yeah. See? Go. Go. So. <laughs> Go. It's a race to see who's going to make their dynamo first. Swap. <laughs> Swap. What's up? Do I have any extras and stuff? Give me that card. You can have that. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just look at it. Just look at it in my hand. People at home are like, uh, really? Oh, so Smash, you got to start your hand over. <laughs> so that means you discard your whole hand and then you shuffle it all together and draw five new cards. <laughs> yeah. That's here. Right um, yeah, go ahead and include that one in there, too. <sighs> So as you can see, this game is it. It goes pretty quick. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you get to see all the little animals. You can figure out ways you can try to try to mess up your your opponent. Start uh, hoarding cards in your hand. I know it, it might seem like just a lot of back and forth right now, but it's just me and Gotham playing two player. But we played this with our, our nephews. They loved it. Um, a big group. We had uh, what four or five players, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, it was just a fun time laughing and trading cards back and forth. Whoa, you're shaking the whole table. Sorry, I told you it's a bit. Okay, give, give me, give me, <laughs> give me deck. Coffee has problems uh, shuffling sometimes. I just have problems. Uh, if you have any suggestions for <laughs> shuffling techniques that she could use, that uh, it's you know. these hands. Yeah, it's these hands. <laughs> So, <laughs> draw your five new cards, and then it'll be my turn. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to play a skip to skip the next player. <laughs> go to me. I'm going to play a snag to draw two cards from the deck. One do and two. Huh? Do, do, I, you, do, you need do, I, do I need more cards? Yeah. Oh, wait. Always. Let me see. Mm. What do I have? Mm, almost. <laughs> I'm gonna say go. Steal. You gonna steal? You gonna steal, steal a card from any player? All right. I have plenty of them. Uh, that card. Oh my god. I don't even know what that is. I didn't even see it. All right. Tiger. Anything else? Um, no. What was that you said? Tiger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I can't even remember what I have. Anyway. <sighs> okay, I say go. Um, I'm gonna discard. Okay. Do draft. And then I say go. Say go. Do I need that one? <laughs> I don't even know what I need anymore. Oh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard that unicorn. I'll say go. <laughs> go go I'm, I'm gonna make some cards mm. see what I have what I have 
Okay, let's go to play. I'm going to play this uh, red swipe to ask everyone for an animal. I'm going to ask for a giraffe. <sighs> Any giraffes? All right. Giraffe. Okay. And then I'm going to go like this. I play my Apatosaurus with the giraffe. Smush them together to make an Apatosaurus. An Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Bong. And I win. All right. Well, that was a, that was a good game. Yeah. Now, if you're playing, it says if you're playing with three or more uh, players that you can have the other rest of the players continue on playing, trying to make some more of the other ones. So obviously, the uh, the Patasaurus is out because it's already been made. But if we had more players that could keep playing and try to make any of the other Dynamals. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the review. So as you can see, Dynamals is uh, is wonderful to play. It's a great time. We played it with our nieces and our nephews and uh, the different family members. We took it to our uh, game night we have with them, and they loved it. We had an awesome time. It's a, it's a great little game. It's for two to six players, ages eight and up. It's available now for purchase. So go ahead and check it out and uh, have a good time. We'll see you next time on Logan Chops Reviews. Thanks for watching.